looks like I came back at the right time. Yeah, four. Well, I wanted to show people for the longest time, why do you have to take the bumper off to put the grill guards on? You don't have to do that on a Stingray, but on the Z06, you have to do that. You see any access through there? But I don't. <laughs> That's why the bumper's gotta come off. On the Stingrays, you got an opening about as I was wide. Just, I was just enjoying your attitude. Well, I'm sorry. Was right. Welcome back to work, Ricky. <laughs> Everybody talking about you down at the bash event. But yeah, this is great underneath it's all here. Out. It's all closed out. Before you put the closeout panel on, it's already really closed out. Yeah, it's still closed out. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. On uh, the stingrays, there's room in here to fit them grill guards up in there. Here, yeah. there's not. They're Before you put out. that panel on, you could reach your hand up underneath and do that. Correct. Right, okay, so you got to take the whole bumper off. Correct. And the option is becoming so popular, why don't they just do it at the factory? Well, the bumper's off and be done with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, guys. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. Rather than risk, you know, any paint defects or something. like I mean, it's just, you know, as soon as you start taking a car apart, yeah, there's always a chance. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a different Tech Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> if it's not banging and clanging, it's his phone ringing. <laughs> but that's that's an actual real phone call. It's not your uh, Vegas yeah. uh, poker stuff. It's my service <laughs> advisor. It is. Okay, he can wait. Hello. Track He's talking to somebody about track alignment. Actually, we're going to do another whole video um, I've run into a situation with me wanting to do track alignment, then take it back to street alignment. And I'm going to tell you why I'm probably, well, I know for a fact I'm not going to do it. Why I'm not going to do it, and I think you guys will agree with me. That's in a future video. Today we're going to talk more, as soon as he's off the phone, we're going to talk more about the C8 transmission. And I have finally the definitive, the correct answer from Josh Holder from Team Corvette. He was kind enough to talk to us and just finally set the record straight. And I was frustrated. We talked off camera. I said, there's no reason that I have to ask you this question. He understood, made some notes, but he did take the time to talk with us. You're going to see that today on our Tech Tuesday upload. And actually, as soon as he's off the phone, we have one more piece of updated real-time news for you guys. A change in the maintenance schedule for C8 Corvettes, but it yet leaves another question. I don't even want to hear it, but I already know you and I are going to be doing another whole video on track alignment, especially in my car and the situation there. Yeah. People, I don't think people really understand what all is involved with that. No, we're going to show them in a future video. Okay. I mean, season's underway. I've not had a chance to get out there. We have a noise issue in my car that I've got to have addressed before I go on track. I told you to turn the radio off. You're watching too many of those Tech Tuesday videos. <laughs> Heard that before. Not sure where. <clears throat> Welcome back, Ricky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. What's that now? I'm sorry. I see a lot of these come in from different dealers where this is on the outside of this instead of on the inside. What's that again? This inner fender panel goes on the inside of this. Oh, yeah. They come in on the outside. I don't understand that. Like that. <laughs> That's how you, I mean, that's really how you do it, guys. Yeah, you see? It ain't right pretty. Place. You want to know how the hot dog's made, you just want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Jumped right in place, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, sure With did. the panel yeah. and where it belongs. Right, all flush like it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> did he just? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to share that. I probably, I mean, I mean, well, it is what it is. Want to let you guys know real quick, you're going to see on this Sunday's Coffee with Conti, I did get a chance to finally, after I chased him down for three and a half hours, meet up with Tatch. I mean, Tatch knows who I am, I know who he is, and I have great respect for him, and I'm so proud that these hats were the topic of conversation throughout the entire bash, and it was just a way I personally wanted to acknowledge him, and not just him, but him and the whole team, what he's given us for Corvette. He's such a fun, relatable guy, and the accessibility to him at the bash event is just amazing. And I guess more importantly, it's his ability to relate to us as enthusiasts and Corvette owners. He's not talking over our head, and he also has a nice sense of humor as well. I was reminding him of a couple of things that he said over the years past at the bash, and he kind of was shocked that I remember that stuff. First, he looked, you'll see this coming up, he first looked at me, looked at my hat, and he just says, why are you doing that? I just said, you know, this is, this is your time to really be appreciated. I just wanted to thank you. He just kind of chuckled, you know, and he was overwhelmed. Everybody was pulling at him. So then I wanted a picture of Taj by my car. I told him, I said, hey, I'm parked over here just around the corner with the Paragon folks and stuff like that. It was impossible to have any time with him. The time that I got with him, I was very appreciative. And we're going to have a whole separate video of that conversation coming up with you guys. So the next day, 
Um, I sleep in, I go to the track, I come back over, and everybody goes, hey, uh, you missed it. Taj was over here looking for you, and, but we got pictures and video with Taj. <laughs> Damn it. But I gotta be happy for the time that Taj did give me. Uh, again, you're gonna enjoy that conversation, but I missed, I'll probably Photoshop him in front of my car by the thanks Taj plate. So he didn't even get a chance to see it. Uh, but I gave him some t-shirts that I made with he and Zora on it. We talked about Zora, uh, some stickers, and a couple of these hats. So, in fact, I saw him as he was getting ready to leave the bash event, leaving a little bit early. He had such a hectic schedule. And I said, oh, man, I missed you. And he goes, hey, I was over there in the morning. I'm like, oh, man, I was at the track. And just then he had to go. So that's a little quick update. I've got a lot to talk about from the bash event. I'm going to share with you some opinions of some of the new colors. Uh, I want to give you the new update. This is breaking news just announced from Chevrolet, but it's going to leave us with yet another question. It seems like this is the topic of conversation on Tech Tuesday, and that is the regular maintenance schedule on your C8 Corvette. What happened with that, Chuck? They changed it for 2024. 2024, as of April uh, 25th, rather. Correct. As of April 25th, 2024 Corvettes and going forward are now 7,500 miles or three years three years yes. for your first service Correct. they're realizing how people are driving this car and they change that so you're like okay well that's that's cool i can i can work with that here's the question david chuck said i don't know so maybe there's another revision coming we've told you guys if you look at this right here this is a picture of your maintenance schedule in your owner's manual it says three years or forty-five thousand miles there's a number four down here is the number four. It says either or to do the transmission fluid flush. Yeah, I so, think that's what a lot of people get hung up on is they lose track or forget about the time. Right. It's time and mileage. Yeah, it's not goes, just it, mileage. Well, three years goes by pretty quick. Sure. It does. Absolutely. Especially and in a Corvette. If everybody remembers when the 20, 2020s first come out, you had one year. Right. Then they switched it to two years. Now they're up in it to three years. So. Okay. But now the question is, at three years, I, I mean, still doing the transmission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you do, are you doing a first service or are you doing a transmission flush? Uh, probably both, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. I, I mean, they're using the same fluid, so. Unless, unless they change that interval. So we'll have to keep you guys up to date on that because we're not quite sure if they're yeah. going to do that at all. I would say we're probably going to keep everything else the same. They're just allowing people that don't put a lot of miles on their vehicle extra time. Why, why are you thinking? Well, you're, I mean, you're you going to think it yeah. again. Exactly. Once we... Once we, all, know, once we know, we'll let you know. Why am I thinking logically? No, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Don't forget, though, regarding first service on your Corvette or any service on your Corvette for C8, every 7,500 miles, make sure you, that you rotate your tires. Right, sir? You what? Uh, yeah, huh? <laughs> He's not even listening. Are you guys listening? I'm working. Yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze in a Tech Tuesday. All right. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> See the guys are guys are checking them out too. I'm telling you right now, Absolutely and I was amazing. I was just well I told you when I was talking to you on the phone. You guys remember Joe from Michigan? I was driving just a little aggressive, probably more aggressive than I should be on these 1521s. But <laughs> right, I don't believe it because yeah. I don't see any dust on here. I know it's great. I'm just I'm very yeah. I'm very happy. I don't see very dust very happy with that. How far? Yeah. How many? How long did you drive on this? 400 miles, and I was hitting really? it and getting it pretty good too, man. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I mean that's like the first thing on my mind. I want to get out of the car and I want to look at my wheels. It's like how much brake dust is there, right, Mike? Look at those wheels. You guys, know Mike from Brake of Speed. Yes, Good sir. to see you, brother. You too. Man. I, I'm just I'm like a little kid at Christmas. I'm experiencing the uh, CarboTech 1521s. Yeah. Just a street pad. I got a track pad, but I got 400 miles and there's hardly any brake dust. And I'm like, yeah, man, finally. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, the Z51s. Because I, mean, I had a non-Z51. Didn't you have a non-Z51 car as well? Yes. And then you went to Z51. But, I, but with that non-Z51, yeah. I had carbon brakes on it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so, so it was a little different. Really good. Yeah, but I just had the factory stuff and going from the two cars. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a night and day difference. I'm yeah. like, it was just the Z51 stuff is just so difficult to maintain. It is. It's like, it was, and I, I washed these last night. I took the wheels off and they, I had to change each bucket out. Each wheel had to clean a new bucket because it was just <laughs> black, it was filthy, it was nasty. So, yeah, we're excited. We got a lot to talk about in the bash. Thanks for joining us today. All right. I hate interrupting him when he's doing this because that's how he screws stuff up or, or forgets something because we're talking and filming like an idiot. But, Every 7,500 what? Yeah. Miles. You do what? Yeah. Rotate the tires. 
Well, that one's only for, you know, they only did that for what, one model year they put it in there? Yeah, Chevy paid for it, but right. the consumer's still responsible to do it. Sure. Okay, all right, perfect. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a really good talk with Corvette engineer Josh Holder. I had to ask the question. We talked about it extensively recently on Tech Tuesday. There's a change in the transmission casing. Is there a void? Um, do you need to put the two additional quarts in your Stingray? Uh, they say no. I say why? Uh, some guy told me, no, it's already in there. No, that's not the case. Chuck told you guys, I think it was last week on Tech Tuesday. He looked at the uh, capacity volumes. He goes, Rick, they haven't changed for 24. He goes, that fluid's not in there, man. I said, all right, damn it. When I get to the bash, I'm going to find out what's going on. And Josh was so cool to talk with us. Here's that conversation. You guys know I've been asking and confused about the changes for the 24 CA transmission. This is a guy that's got to have the right answer. I was here at GM Train a couple of weeks ago and the guy said that you don't have to worry about putting the additional two ports of transmission in the CH transmissions for the ones but he said and I'm getting conflict on that he said because the two additional ports are already in there and I don't think that's the case it's not really the case the case is literally changed for 24 of the case so uh, we did it because the Z06 necessitated an improvement in the loop system. Okay. Where we keep all the critical oil in a car on a Z06 that has so much lateral capability was super important. Yeah. So knowing that we needed to change the case and update the loop system for the Z06 in 24 model year, actually very late in 23 as it turns out. Right, it was July or something like yes. that, right? Okay. Yep. We moved all Corvettes to the same differential or the same transmission housing uh, that the Z06 has. And when we did that, you no longer need to add the additional two, two liters of oil. That really was a way to keep lube system healthy, lubrication where it needed to be, but it was overkill. It wasn't kind of the way we would is have done pickup, it starting Is the pickup over. point different then on it? Is that what it is? The or? pickup point's not really different. What is different, besides the shape of the case itself, which, okay. which can hold more oil near the pickup point, okay. but there's baffles inside the transmission okay. that under high G loading keep the oil near the pickup point, which is the whole goal of the loop system. Most certainly. So that's the benefit that all Corvettes receive in, in 2024. 2024. Model. Right. Yep. All right, so there's still a volume void there though. So essentially, what if a guy did put <clears throat> the two additional ports in there? In a 24 transmission? Yes. I, you could do it. Actually, you might risk some expulsion through the vent tube. It right. would be a wasted effort. Okay. So I would not recommend doing it uh, in a 2024. And honestly, when we when we recommended that in model year 20, it was for a really extreme scenario. Right. And and in hindsight, I'm not sure we would have made the same recommendation. Okay. Um, it, it's not easy to do for those that have done it themselves, and I've, I've done it myself. Right. It's not super easy. No, it's not. Um, and so we're really glad that we got to take that revised loop system, spread it to all Corvettes, and now anybody that wants to track their car or don't track their car doesn't have to worry about whether or not I should add two liters or not. And am I going to be that person that drives so extreme? Maybe I need the two liters, maybe I don't. Right. We just took the question out of it. You're good. Oh, thanks for setting that straight, man. I appreciate yeah, that. Keep pleasure. up the good work, too. All right, you too. All right. Appreciate Thank you. it. All right, see, there you go, guys. Well, just a quick shout out. This ride right here is going to Russell in Illinois. Beautiful Z06. Looks like a Z07. It's got the brakes, it's got the high wing, but it has uh, tires that's good. <laughs> not, not kill you. <laughs> Russell, thanks for the business. All right, before you go, we got some more good looking cars. These are your beautiful rides. Thanks for watching, guys. I gotta get out of here. They're uh, locking up shop. But make sure you watch this Sunday. I've got a ton of conversation and fun highlights from the 24 NCM Bash event.
And I didn't understand that you 